Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Blitz by AAR Cornhole. A shout out to Cam for letting me borrow these bags so that I can do this review for you. So let's go ahead and jump in and break these bags down. We'll start with the materials on this, and slow side, this is that uh, Surefire material, but it's the softer side of the material. It's actually the same size you find, like the Typhoon, the Deadhead, the All Slides 2.0, uh, the Corn Slinger Surge, I recently reviewed, all use this side of the material. Five speed, it's a wonderful material, it's controllable. Uh, a lot of you have thrown it, a lot of, almost every bag company out there has a, a bag of some sort that uses this material one side or the other. It's a wonderful material, very player friendly type. Uh, at five speed, if I didn't mention, it's a five speed material. A fast side, this is the Game Changer Surefire Fast Side. Eight speed, it's fast, but controllable at eight, it's probably more like an eight and a half. It's a fast eight, kind of slow nine speed material. Fast, but somewhat controllable, slide screen conditions, um, wonderful pushing, collect, fast side material. So you got a five, eight and a half uh, speed bag on this. It's, it's the same two materials that you find on the All Slides 2.0. Uh, in fact, this bag reminds me a ton of the All Slides 2.0. I don't, I don't have any more of those. I was kind of trying to find a thought, but I think I, think I gave away the last that I had recently. Um, but this bag is just just reminds me so much of that even down to the template and the fill on this Which we'll, we'll jump into right now the template. This is kind of that medium template bag. It's it's, it's right down that middle um, But it's a fairly full bag, you know, it, it's it's got you know it, It's got some flop to it, but you can still see the bag. There's there's it's not folding in half, right? There's enough meat on both sides. There's enough fill on both sides. It's still pretty full gives you a nice Feel to grab a hold of getting a nice grip on it now it is mostly a bead fill i don't know if it's 100 percent bead. i'm trying to play it. i've been trying to feel in here to figure out uh, it's got a lot of small beads in here but i i think there may be some other stuff whether it's a disc or what i can't really tell there's something else mixed in so it's not 100 percent bead fill but it's mostly that small bead fill in there so if you like a flat disc type fill bag you might want to kind of venture away from the blitz i don't know if all of aar uh, bags use this bead fill. This is my first bag of theirs that I've got a hold of and reviewed. But you know, as I get through them, we'll find out. Uh, but I actually like the fill. I like the way the fill plays. Like it fits really nicely with this bag. And I'll get into that in just a moment on playability for this. Um, in fact, let's, let's go ahead and just jump into right now what we're talking about. Jump to playability. So playability with this bag. Uh, it's it's really a very versatile bag. A bag you can do a lot with. You can you can throw blockers up there. You can play a little bit of dirty style game. This bag has a lot of movement to it with this beat fill. So you know it's really wonderful for playing cut shots. I, I, it, it's a bag. It has a lot of balance to it. So you can definitely uh, roll it, flop it. You can do you know pretty much any kind of shot shaping you want to do with this bag. So it makes it wonderful. You want to put a blocker up there. Work around, work around, make your opponent deal with it. And then your last bag, you could come through, collect it, clean it up. And because the bags are very full, very easy to collect. You just clip a corner and take it right in. They're not hard. They're not that hard to collect. They're not going to cordon up like a floppier bag would. They'll push right through. You don't have to, you know, get more aggressive in the middle. You can you can put a bag more aggressively on your opponent's side and then come with your last bag, slick side down the middle, push through, collect it, and take them both in. Um I will say a couple things on the collectability of it because this is a bouncier bead fill to it. Be careful when you're going to collect it. I I, I don't know. I when, I when I first started throwing these bags, I had a little bit of issue. I, I made an adjustment, no big deal. But when you're throwing, especially when you're collecting, I found it more slow side than slick side. If you're trying to collect slow side, if you land too close to the bag, this bag will have a tendency to kind of just do a little bit of a hop. It wants to hop over. So it gets a little bit of that, that bounce to it as it first lands. It'll hop over and skip over that back and leave it there. So you've got to land a little further back, which I find if I'm throwing slick side, I'll land further back, let the back kind of hit, hop, settle, and then push through. If I'm going sticky side to collect, I land a little closer to the bag, almost right behind it, right on it, hit it, and it doesn't have it, that, that hit in that bag will dead in that hop and it'll catch and push through. So depending on which side you're collecting and where you want to land, it's a slight adjustment. It's not that big a deal. As long as you know it's there, you, you can deal with it. I didn't have a problems with it. Now, a couple of things with this uh, material. I've talked about a ton of this material. There, there are three things that are kind of, that are called negatives in the material, I guess. One is humidity, right? This material, when, when boards start getting sticky, damp, moisture on there from humidity, this material just starts to slow down. It soaks that moisture up and just becomes almost unplayable. So keep that in mind. On dry boards, wonderful material. You can do a lot with it. Uh, the other thing is the material will have a tendency to kick on you. If you're not throwing a flat bag, you're going to get a kick. With this bouncier fill, the kick is probably even more so than normal, right? Because you already you already have that that movement. The bag's wanting to kind of hit. It doesn't want to land just flat out. It wants to kind of kick and wobble and bounce. And when you when you throw a little bit of a, of a tilt to that, that balance creates more that 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 bouncy fill creates more of a kick. So the bag 
cuts a little harder, kicks a little harder, right? Which makes it more comfortable. I talked about how well you can cut. You can cut through your almost, this bag, because of the material and the fill, I feel like I can almost cut it like I would a carpet bag. It really wants to grab and cut hard. And the third thing I would say is this material has a tendency to want to hang on the hole, right? It gets up there. If you have enough speed, it'll grab, spin, drop in. If you don't, it sets, it wants to hang. I will say this bead fill, you know, to me, bead fill is much more hole friendly than that flat disc fill. So I find that even when that bag hung there, if I had another bag come, just hit just a little, a little harder than normal, it, it wanted to start those beads in motion and that bag would kind of cascade or drip right in. So I didn't have as much of a hanging on the whole issue with this material in this bag as I did on some other bags I've thrown. So I, I think that bead fill kind of alleviates, and that's why I like the bead fill in this bag with this material. It really alleviates a lot of that hanging on the whole issues you have. It does create other problems. Like say, if you're not throwing a flat bag, you can have issues. If you're, you can have issues with the bag kind of skipping over what you want to collect. But those are, I think, I think those are minor things, things you can deal with, there's work around. I, I like it. I'd rather have that whole, I really trade off some of the playability other ends to have whole, I think whole friendliness is one of the, one of the more important things to have on a bag. I want a bag that's going in the hole because in the end, that's where you want to put it, right? Get it in the hole. So all in all, I, I love the way the bag played. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I, I really think for me, because I talk about all that collectability issues, all of that hand in the hole. I, I find this is just a bag. I just want to run bags in the hole with. I get this bag in my hand. I just want to slide bags in. I'll throw a blocker every now and then, but really it's, it's a bag that I, I, I think I want to play more of a hole for hole game with, especially on faster boards. You get this, to me, this material, is just awesome for fast boards. You put this material on a faster board and you you eliminate some of that kick, you eliminate all that hole, that hanging on the hole, and the bag just material just plays wonderfully and you can really just run back after bag after bag in the hole. And so when I'm playing on a faster board condition, it's a, it's this material, this type of bag that I'm looking for that I want to pull out and play. And again, I like this fill because I can shape shots with it. I can get a little more creative. So if I'm playing with uh, an opponent who throws a stickier bag, even though I'm going hole for hole, if they put a blocker out there, I don't have to collect it. You know, I can cut around it, right? Or I can I can play the bounce. Land my bag right up right up near it, let it hit, just kind of skip over it and, and go in the hole and leave their bags there. Availability. AAR has a website, aarcornhole.com. They have quite a few options available, especially for the blitz. Look at they had, I don't know, quite a few different designs. So each design had a lot of different colorways. So there's plenty of options for you. Some of the colorways were sold out, but they still had a good variety of bags in stock. I did notice there was a couple of designs that were $75, the rest for $80. I don't know if they were older designs or they cheaper, but $75 to $80. For the price of the bags, for set of bags, ten dollars for shipping, so eighty-five ninety all in shipped to you. These I forgot to mention; these are ACL stamp for twenty twenty-three, so you're getting you know eighty-five nine dollars for an ACL stamp bag, which is not the cheapest, but it's on the low rate. It's nowhere near the most expensive, so the very reasonable price for them. I think they're well worth it. High quality bags for that. I love throwing them. I, I do recommend this blitz if you like a beat fill bag and you. You like kind of what I described, check out the Blitz. I think you're going to love this bag. If you have a set, drop a comment down below. Let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback, whether you like them, you don't like them, what you like, what you don't like. Also, uh, if you have another AAR bag you want me to review, drop a comment down below. I do have a set of Ricochets that I've got coming down the road here soon to review, but uh, I want to dive into some of their other bags. So if you've got another one to review, drop a comment down below so I know what to, which ones to get next. I thank you guys so much for your support, and I thank you for watching.